We don't know if he'll be in Australia or not. Yep. He's going to turn 38 in June. We know that for sure. Uh, what do you expect from Rafa? Uh, full effort, right? He's going to, if he gets back <laughs> out there, you're going to see intensity because he doesn't know any other way to play. He's going to come full guns blazing. I was there calling the match right behind the court when, when he hurt his hip this year at, at Australia. And you could see the shock on his face when it happened that, oh, no, this is happening to me again after all the rehab he'd gone through to get back there. He's a player who he knows exactly how he's going to play, what he wants to, to achieve, but confidence for him doesn't flick on quite as easily as it did for someone like Federer. He needs the reps. He needs the practice. The depth of his shot gets better and better and better as his confidence grows. So he's going to need a clean run of health to get back up and running at his ap appropriate level. And we just wish that that will happen, that he'll have a chance to at least give one more big run at Roland Garros and wave goodbye to the fans. He's given us so much, we'd like to give that back to him for sure. This is a guy, we've seen the videos, he's posted, he's been in the gym, looks great. He's been on the court, looks great. He said, I'm not going to win more Grand Slams than Novak Djokovic, Andy, but he said, I'm going to have the opportunity to enjoy myself again. How special is that for this guy being able to go out on his own terms? Well, that's huge. Like the, the best thing we can wish for as kind of fellow players and, you know, analysts is for someone to finish on their own terms and not be forced out of a sport that they brought so much joy to uh, based on an injury or based on not being able to get back from an injury. I will say, I don't know whether or not he's going to play Australia. If he does decide to play the Australian, I would fully expect him to play either a 250 or something to get some matches in before that Grand Slam. I don't think that he will play Australia if he can't get some reps in and at least a two out of three set level uh, before entering kind of the, the mess of three out of five. But listen, every decision he makes is going to make, be made with the date circled for the French Open, right? That's the one that's going to dictate every decision that he makes mm -hmm. from now until then is, am I healthy enough? Is this going to be beneficial for my one last run uh, at Roland Garros? No matter how much prep work or matches he gets in before Paris, where do, if, he, if he's playing, where do you put him as the favorite at Roland Garros? I think he wins majority of his matches at the French Open by just turning up. You know, I think best of five. Mm -hmm. I played him in Rome one year um, in, in a best of three and I couldn't walk the next day. Um, so I think most of the players don't want to see him, obviously, at the French Open. But I'm, I don't have any expectation from him. The fact that he's still hanging around, he's going to grace the court one last time or one, one last year. I mean, I, I just want to see him play again. I think the whole tennis world misses him. I'm, as one of his fellow competitors, we've had some absolute battles and epics. And I just, you know, I, I, I want to see him around as long as possible. You know, it's I still surreal that Federer's not here. I don't mm. want to see one of our, you know, one of the greatest of all time go anymore. And it's worth remembering that Federer was not even close to healthy in mm. his final yeah. Wimbledon run. Yep. When Hercotch beat him in the quarterfinals, he made it to the quarterfinals, yep. basically on one leg. Yeah. So it can be done. And at Roland Garros, the intimidation factor starts when you walk in as, mm. as another player. And oh, by the way, there's a statue of Nadal, and he's still in draw. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at what Rafa has done over the years. I mean, hey, listen, 664 is, is not not where he wants to be, but he hasn't played in a year. That, that's <laughs> tennis. It's a meritocracy. It's year to year, and that's how your ranking goes. But 22 career major titles, the 92 singles titles, nearly 1,070 wins, 209 weeks at number one, a couple of gold medals. I'm curious, Nick, because when you kind of broke onto the scene 2014 Wimbledon, it, that was beating Rafa, and then you've had some epic matches against him as well. You've played all the big three, but is your kind of rivalry with Rafa a little more special because that's what got you you know, all the headlines to start. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm probably a bit of more of a friend with Novak and Federer than I am with Nadal. We still have a bit of a, I think it's a, some bittersweet kind of, you know, rivalry there between me and Nadal. So I think, yeah, I mean, that, my day, my life changed forever when I beat him that time. And, and he's given me some ass whoopings. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that. You just that, did but it. I, um, you just did it. He's <laughs> creamed me sometimes and I've, I've learned some of the things about myself and he's made me improve and he's just made me an all-round better player, you know, for my career moving forward. So to say that I've played him nine times, I never thought I'd play him that many times in my career. So, yeah, I just want to see him about, back out there healthy. When we saw all those numbers, Jim, which one still blows your mind? There's one that's not even on there that, that I always refer to as just jaw-dropping and almost unimaginable. When he entered the top ten for the first time, he never yeah, yeah. left it again yeah. until his injuries this past year finally took him out of there. Throughout all the time off the tour and the injuries, he still stayed in single digits. No other player, Federer or Djokovic, could say that they could do that. 
that to me is another piece of his legacy. His, his just consistency being in the top 10 was remarkable. Nearly 20 years. Yeah. It did not leave the top 10. It, yeah. Crazy stuff. It's so. a joke, no? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot wait to see Rafa back on a tennis court healthy and enjoying himself.